Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Love you guys. Thanks for coming on over and seeing what I'm doing in my craft room today. I am gonna work on this little honey, this little sweetheart. It is a little book made from junky papers, some packaging, some parchment paper, and some of my handmade paper. It's bound together with a little pamphlet stitch and uh, some fabric on the on the end. And it just it's just a sweet, sweet little book. And I'd really like it. But I'm gonna work in here just a smidge today. And what I've brought out to use in here is just, I thought, because the pages are so small, just find three things. Three little things to maybe use for a page. I gathered up part of a pattern, a dress pattern. And here are some fun note cards. They're post-its. And I like this. I'm particularly thinking about that one right there, but I can change my mind as the process goes on. I have this uh, folder full of various kinds of text, some book pages that I've pulled apart and have used, uh, they're just like scraps of things, of text. So here's a, the um, table of contents. So that's something. Also have a few bits of music in here. Let's do two different colors of text. Two different colors of text. Um, so that would be four items, so I'm kind of going off. I want this color. So if I do three things, one, two, and three, and then on, I'm gonna go towards the center, I think. And this parchment paper is hard to glue on, so I'll have to figure out something different when I'm working on those pages. It will adhere somewhat with Fabri-Tac, um, but I think that might be a page where I end up sewing something on. Okay, so let's just put some paper clips. To hold down things better keep things in a little more control. Working on this page right here. So, I like the numbers too though. Okay. Um, what I'm using for an adhesive is Elmer's Extra Strength Glue Stick, and I'm using my palette knife because I've got to use up some of these. There's a lot of glue left in the depths of these little glue sticks. So let's let's use, I want this as my focal point though. I think this was just a Dollar Tree thing here. Isn't that great? It's a little, a little sweet find. So that, and I'm gonna open this out. There's some numbers, I could use those numbers for body measurements. I mean, just, I'm just gonna tear. And then I'll use this. I love this dot section too, that's fun. And then I'm going to add, just to pop this color a little bit, a Distress Ink. Now I have several colors. I've got Worn Lipstick. That might be a nice addition. 
I also have vintage photo, faded jeans, which might be fun to pull out that blue, and then forest moss. Let's try the faded jeans and add that to this right here. Maybe I'll add the other colors as well in a different place. Oh, I like that. Okay. And my warm lipstick, let's put that on this one. about a tear around all the edges of this flower. And then I'll do the vintage photo. I'm still thinking while I'm tearing, don't know. Yes, I think that is a yes. of the page behind it. it that way. Okay. Okay, so it's, that's pretty tiny for for the camera angle. But I like that, just a few, three elements to create a little page. And that took less than 10 minutes. Now I had to think ahead to figure out what I wanted to put in here, but I like that. Okay. I think I'll do another page. But I want to choose three different kinds of elements. So I'm going to do that and I will come right back. Okay. So I have these wonderful little laser cut craft icons from Crafter Square. They are a Dollar Tree item. A friend gave these to me. Aren't they cute? They're owls. And I have a piece of cardboard that's black. And I grabbed a piece of some music. So with these three items, let's see what I can make. 
Let's do this skinny thing. I think I'll, now we'll whip it on there. Maybe not. I have to try the green page, perhaps. Let's try that. Okay, so... Oh, I could go over the edge. There we go, that looks okay. And then, let's take a look at what I've got here. Slides right off. Okay, let's see which one's gonna work best. And these are kind of thick. They're, you know, I'm gonna say about a, not quite a quarter inch. I think I'm going to tear this apart a little bit because it's pretty thick. that looks too. Okay, maybe that's as good as I'm going to get it. Let's stretch it just a little bit. And stretch it. Pull those little ridges off away a little. Because I've got music lines going that way, maybe I will take this and go this way. Just to give it a just juxtapose the lines. Make them go opposite, <laughs> right? Okay, oh, I like that, that's cute. Okay, and I think I will use Fabri-Tac for these two other elements, because they're too big. And I think I'll put the glue on here, because I don't wanna glue over onto the green page. glued the wrong side. That's okay. I wanted to have the other side be showing for the music, but that's all right. And it's not altogether straight. It's a little crooked. We're going to pretend I meant to do that. I'm going to make sure I have the right side of this owl. I don't know if it matters. I don't think it does. Although this seems like there's a little more black showing through. So I will do that. has a little bit of ink on it. I think it's from the laser cutting, the burning of it, maybe. There's some black, that's okay. Okay, so three little elements on that page. And I reserve the right to come back and add more items if I want, but how cute. Just three little things. It's gonna make my book a little chunky because it's a thick little piece of um, embellish embellishment.
Yeah, but those are cute. <laughs> and with the other page I did right there. Yeah, that's fun. Got the different colors, the blue, the pink, the blue, and then the, um, vintage photo, the brown, the antiquing of it. I like this. It's just three little things, because this book is so small that I can't really have a whole lot going on on here on any given page, but I like it. Okay, guys, that's it. Just a short little cute video in my little tiny sweetie book that is made out of, I can close it that maybe get a I have a bigger paper clip that would be an easy closure for this book paper clip this one right here yeah keep it together that way till I get it too full of things and maybe this wouldn't be big enough but all right that's it for today guys just working on my handmade paper book all right love you guys take care and as always, God bless. Bye-bye.